Media is a very important tool for conveying the message of Islam. What we should do, that we should have top class journalists. Unfortunately, the Muslim Ummah, the Muslim world, have very few people who are good with the pen. Not that we can't make, but we don't want to make an effort. And there are some Muslims who are good with the pen, but they are, I would call, secular in inverted commas. Secular inverted commas. They write for all non-Islamic papers and all. There are a few good with the pen. What we require is a daily newspaper or a monthly magazine which can penetrate into the masses. Alhamdulillah, a few Muslims, few rich businessmen, they did make an effort in taking out such magazine on a monthly or a fortnightly basis, but it didn't click off as well as they had planned. What we require is the best people, and we should be able to capture all the three levels. Firstly, only by having good journalists, it's not sufficient. Because if you have good Muslim journalists, the editor sitting on top of him will not let that article be published in the magazine. So what's the use? Even if you have good editors, the boss of that newspaper will not allow you to publish that article in his newspaper or his magazine. So we Muslims should have a three tire. It should be owned by Muslims. The editors should be top class Muslims or good with the pen, as well as the journalists, all three levels. If any is missing, there are chances there may be certain lacuna. Top class Muslim journalists, top class editors, and good philanthropists and good people who own this press. And even the strategy of marketing should be A1. Then only can we penetrate into the media. I know, Alhamdulillah, there are a few organizations which are trying their level best, and I'm told that Mazi Imam, Alhamdulillah, they are trying to have courses on journalism, and there are people having in other parts. But what we require, the people training should be of international caliber. If you can't find Muslims, hire the non-Muslim to train them, no problem. No problem. If you can't find Muslims who can train, get the best non-Muslim actually to train in English writing, not about Islam, English writing. And once they are trained how to write in English, because English is an international language, or whatever language you want to make out the paper, and if you want to bring in a local language, teach them about local language, and then a person who is well versed in the field of Islam can infiltrate the journalist with the ideas of Islam. If you don't have a Muslim who has good knowledge of Islam, who is good with the pen, get a non-Muslim. Should see to it that the trainers should be of top international repute. And we should see to it that when we pay these people in our papers, oh, working for Islamic paper, okay, how much salary are you getting in times of winner? 10,000. Okay, work for me for 5,000. How will you come? A person who's drawing 10,000, 20,000 in a non Islamic newspaper, you ask him to work for half the salary or quarter the salary in your newspaper. How will he come forward? The Muslims should pay the Muslims more than the market. That's what we do in a foundation. In a foundation, Alhamdulillah, all the people that are employed are getting more salary than what they can get outside in the market. So that tomorrow they won't say, oh, we are working for Islam, therefore we are getting half the salary. See, there are few people who Allah has given them enough wealth. If they work voluntary, they work at half the pay, no problem. But the masses, we should see to it that we give them what is their requirement. Then only can we extract them. Then we see to it that we take out double work from them. Pay them well and take out good work from them. That's what we require. Unfortunately, in the Muslim organization that we have, even the Dawa organization, how many full-time do we have? How many? And you pay them a salary of 1,000 rupees. To the Imam, how much you pay? 1,500 rupees, 2,000 rupees. What's going to happen with that? Give them good substantial so that they can dedicate their full life for the cause of Islam. Now, analyzing the electronic media. In the electronic media again, you have the audio cassette, you have the video, you have the computer, you have the satellite, etc. In audio cassettes, again, as I said, if it's non periodical, the reach is limited. How many audio cassettes can you make? How many video copies can you make, etc.? But still, it has a certain advantage. Like when traveling in a car, you can play audio cassette, a talk on Islam, or a promoting Islam. And Alhamdulillah, the Islamic Research Foundation that's based in Bombay. We have, alhamdulillah, one of the largest collection 
of Islamic video cassettes in the world. More than three and a half thousand different titles we have. Three and a half thousand titles. I travel various parts of the world. I have not come across any organization which have anywhere close to one and a half thousand. Alhamdulillah, we have collected from various parts of the world more than three and a half thousand video cassettes, out of which more than three thousand are in English, more than five hundred are in Urdu, a couple of hundred are in Arabic, and a few in French, German, Spanish, etc. These cassettes we give on a free hire basis in Bombay against a refundable deposit of 200 rupees. The person can take the video cassette home, watch it free of charge for one week, he can keep it with him. Within one week, he should earn it back. He can take a deposit back or take another cassette. Absolutely free. We even distribute literature, more than 50 different literature on Islam and compiled religion, absolutely free throughout India. And Alhamdulillah, the next media, as I told you, is the cable TV. We have been successful, and I can say, Alhamdulillah, that Bombay is the only non-Muslim city in the world, which I know of. Bombay is the only non-Muslim city in the world, which I know of, where, Alhamdulillah, every day, we show dawa programs for three hours on the cable TV network to more than a million homes. More than a million homes. Ten lakh houses, every day for three hours. Three hours, hardcore dawa. You know, why do I say hardcore dawa? Hardcore dawa means actually giving the message. You know, you see me talking on all these topics, direct message, without compromise. Not about salah and about kirat, that's important. You have on Muslim country channels showing salah and kirat, that's good. But that's not hardcore dawa. Alhamdulillah, every day, for three hours, we show our programs on the cable TV network to more than a million homes. And do you know, those people that show these programs, more than 80% are non-Muslims. The people watching this program, more than 80% are non-Muslims. And when we started, initially, we had to pay. Oh, please show our program. They said, okay, we paid and they showed the program. Then it became popular. It became free. Now do you know, these non-Muslims are willing to pay us to show our programs on their channel. Non-Muslims giving us money. Yo, brother Zaki, take money, we want your programs. Why? Quality. Quality is important. Alhamdulillah, what we say, don't give us money, increase the time. From two hours we said, show it for three hours and they agreed. Actually, more time we give them, the more money they should pay us. We told them, don't show two hours, show three hours, we want to give it complimentary, free. Alhamdulillah. Allah has his ways, he gets his job done in his ways. If Muslim cannot do it, Allah gets it done from non-Muslims. Allah says in Surah Muhammad, chapter 47, verse number 38, If you turn away from the path, do not do your job. If you do not do the job, Allah will suffer in your place another people. And they will not be like you. The Jews were the chosen people. Allah asked them to follow the commandment. They didn't follow the commandment. Allah took them out and praised the Arabs. He made them sit on the head. Allah says, if you do not do the job, Allah will substitute in a place another people. Summa laikunam salakum, and they will not be like you. So if you do not do the job, Allah will take you out and bring other people. You know, today the fastest growing religion in the world is Islam. In America, in England, we Indians, supposed to be born in Muslim families, can't do the job. Allah gets people born in non-Muslim families, make them Muslim, and make them sit on your head. They are doing our job, Alhamdulillah. The organization in states and Europe, they are far better than us. We are nothing compared to them. A shame on us. We haven't reached the media yet. In the film industry, Muslim are on the top. Number one. Actors, number one Muslim. Film producers, number one Muslim. Music director, number one Muslim. Actress, number one Muslim. Are we using this technology for spreading Islam? It's a shame on us. Allah has given us the technique. It's a shame on us. You go to the Bombay film industry, number one are Muslims. If Muslims withdraw, the film industry will go down. How many film industry people are using the equipment and the technology to promote Islam? How many? It's a shame on us. Alhamdulillah, since the past couple of years, we have even been successful into penetrating the satellite channels. See, today if you analyze on the television, you have news media against Islam, against Islam. On the satellite, against Islam. 
you have channels which are giving news which are biased and all the material you see majority of the things on the satellite are un-islamic majority we alhamdulillah have been successful in showing our programs on various international channels and alhamdulillah we have been able to show our program even on the atn asian television network you all might have heard of that asian television network it's the channel which mainly shows film songs hindi film songs mainly it's a very popular channel now it has been discontinued for a couple of months because they want to revamp the whole thing and come in a bigger way so therefore discontinued we alhamdulillah show our program on the atn asian television network thrice a week on monday wednesday and friday for half an hour 